happy Monday, first of all. Um, I know that this video is supposed to be posting on, or is supposed to have been posted on Sunday, but I had a little setback. Um, I did post it on my Facebook page and, and my Instagram story as well. So long story short, I had the video set to go to post for you guys uh, yesterday afternoon. And as I was editing, I do all my editing in iMovie. So I was trying to clear space so that I could save the video in order to upload it for you guys. And I went through and deleted all the clips that I created that composed the entire video and deleted them off my off of my phone, off my regular camera roll, and then deleted them off of the recently deleted. And it turns out that if you do that without saving the movie first, that it just completely takes the videos out of your presentation altogether. So I literally had filmed the recipe, filmed me making it. Um, I made it Saturday as I was already exhausted, didn't feel like doing it, but you know, it was just one of those days where you just wanted to not really do anything, but I got motivated, made the recipe, made the video, everything was great, I was ready to post it, and then that happened because I just literally wasn't thinking, and if you continue to follow me, you're going to see that stuff like this is literally going to happen to me all the time, that's just my life. Um, so initially I was really upset, and I didn't even want to talk to anyone about it, so because I just really want to be timely about things and if I promise you guys something I want to deliver like I promise a video every Sunday and here I am not delivering the videos to you guys so anyway so I just pushed the thought out of my mind wasn't going to think about it and then initially I was planning to go rebuy all the ingredients and just remake it from the start top to bottom do the recipe um, but it just really doesn't make sense for me to go re-spend the money to buy the ingredients and remake the same recipe that I still have sitting in my fridge because we haven't eaten all of it yet so it's sh it just doesn't have any logic to that so what I'm gonna do is oh and if any of you don't know that the winning topic that you guys chose was the fried cauliflower or sorry it was actually my quick um, healthy go-to dinner and that happens to for me happens to be um, the fried cauliflower rice. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it, but basically it's just fried rice, and the rice grains are re replaced with cauliflower. So it's cauliflower that you chop up, and it it's called rice ca cauliflower technically. So same thing. Um, so like I said, instead of actually you know going and buying the ingredients and going downstairs and remaking everything. I'm really sorry that you guys aren't going to be able to get to see me make it, but I am going to break it down, um, go through the ingredients with you guys, and I'm going to go through step by step and basically tell you what I was showing you in the last videos that I had made for you guys, and I'm really, really, really sorry about that. I'm going to have to do something like, I'm going to have to probably, my goal is to get an iPad, I just got to save some money. Um, that way I have enough storage where I can not have to delete stuff in order to see these videos that I'm making. So, and I'm actually going to have to figure out how to save this, you know, that I'm thinking about it uh, right now, after I'm done. So anyways, but that's a problem for me. So, yeah, so I was really discouraged, started out this morning, like, really not wanting to have to redo everything. Um, but I got up this morning at 5, went to the gym, had a meeting, and then um, a color class at work today, at the chair, that's where I work, if you guys didn't know. Um, so I was there this morning and then went home, also made me some coffee, and now I'm sitting here ready to go through this with you guys because stuff happens, I know that, so I just gotta push through it. Um, so anyway, so the recipe is the fried cauliflower rice. This time that I made it, I chose to make it with steak as my, my protein, my meat, but you guys can really choose whatever meat you like. Uh, you can do shrimp, any kind of fish, chicken, whatever it is, no meat, it's really up to you. Alright, so the ingredients that I use are, I get the bag of already um, riced or chopped cauliflower, and you can find that in the produce section of your grocery store. I do know that Food Lion has, I haven't seen it in Food Lion, but Walmart and Redner's do have that, and it's usually uh, by the lettuce, so in the produce section. And then I use half of an onion, um, I usually use yellow, but you can use white or whatever you prefer. Two eggs, or you can use more, it's just your preference. And then a meat of choice, which, or no meat, like I said, but I use steak. 
And then you, you're going to need an oil just to put in the skillet. And I use an avocado sunflower oil that I get at Walmart. And I, I don't know for sure if it's healthier, but I just like to use that over vegetable oil. Vegetable oil is not something I really cook a lot with. Um, and if I don't use the avocado sunflower, I'm using olive oil typically. Unless I'm baking or something. Um, and then you're going to use two cloves of garlic that you finely mince yourself. Or you can use about probably a spoonful or two of garlic that's already minced that you can get in a jar and you'll usually find that in the same section at your grocery store where the onions and garlic are it's just in a jar that you can put in your fridge and it just saves you a little bit of time and then I use garlic salt and then just regular pepper for my seasoning I don't use any salt like regular salt and then I use a low sodium soy sauce which I'm sure you can find at any grocery store I get the great value from Walmart it's in um, a green well it's in a clear bottle but it has a green wrapper and that's low sodium and then just a little bit of brown sugar you're really only going to need a teaspoon and that's optional and the brown sugar is really just going to be mixed in with your soy sauce before you add it into the recipe and again it's optional I just use it to sweeten it up a little bit and give it kind of more of I guess closer to like a teriyaki sauce and then I also use frozen peas and carrots I only use half the bag and I just use the frozen ones because it's easier than having to chop up some carrots and or snap peas or whatever it is uh, but you can substitute it with really any different kind of vegetable you want. You can put corn, whatever. And also sometimes I do chop up zucchini and saute that and add it in with the mix. If there's zucchini in the store. And if not, then it's just as good without it. So that is your ingredient list. And I'm going to go through, like I said, step by step, kind of just what I do. And I'm going to try to break it down as best as possible for you guys. And try to remember kind of everything that I included in the last video. So let me just break my steps down. So let me just read them. Okay, so the first step, you're going to chop the onion and the garlic, set that aside, and the zucchini if you use it, if you don't, whatever vegetables you want, that's when you're going to chop all those up. And I get the pre-chopped steak, but if I get chicken or something, then I have to chop it, so you're going to want to do that as well. And then after you have everything prepared, you're going to want to add a tablespoon of whatever your oil of choice is to the skillet. And I actually use, I have a, a skillet that's probably... Well, it's, it's like a square skillet, and you plug it in. It's not something that you just, like a pan that you put on the stove. It's a skillet. It's an electric skillet. Um, and I love it because it's literally the only dish that I have to clean aside from the bowls and spoons we use to eat it. Um, you can just fit everything in there, and it heats up faster. You don't have to wait as long. And like I said, this is my quick go-to healthy meal, and I usually make it after late nights at the salon when I'm getting home at like 8.39, and I just need something quick, but I don't want to do fast food. I want to stay healthy, and this is what I go to. So, again, just using that electric skillet just saves me a little bit extra time. So, you're going to add a tablespoon of oil to the skillet, and then you're going to add your garlic in, saute that a little bit until you can, like, really smell it. And then you're going to add the onion in, and you're going to cook that down. Obviously, you'll be able to tell when your onions are starting to not be as hard. Um, I would say about five minutes. And then once that's cooked down a little bit, you're going to set it aside in a bowl or... Up on a plate whatever you can use and then after you set that aside you're gonna put the meat that you've chosen in the skillet I chose steak so I put the steak in the skillet added some garlic salt and pepper to it uh, that's just really to your liking if you like a lot of pepper put a lot of pepper if you don't like it don't do it and you can use kind of whatever seasonings you want just be wary of the amount of sodium in them which is why I only use the garlic salt and pepper because I don't want to have a whole bunch of sodium in my meal and you're gonna get extra saltiness from the soy sauce so kind of just hold back on that if you're someone who usually likes a lot of salt so you're gonna cook your steak um, to your liking medium rare rare whatever it is and then once it's kind of gotten if you're someone who likes it medium rare you're gonna want to take it out but if you don't really care then you can just leave it in the skillet and the re this is another reason I like the skillet is because it's big enough to allow me to do this so after the steak is cooked you're just going to push it to one side and then you're going to take the eggs that you're going to add and I use two but you can use more like I said so you're going to crack the two eggs into the skillet and you can put oil down beforehand if you just want to avoid any stickiness but that's another good thing that's good about the skillet is it doesn't really get too sticky and things don't stick to the bottom you're not scraping the egg off um, so anyways you're going to put crack the two eggs in the skillet and then just scramble them around until they're done and then once that's done you're almost done on all you have to do is you're gonna add back that onion and garlic and the zucchini if you cooked it if not just add back 
in the onion and the garlic mixture and then you're going to stir that around and then you're going to add the, the rice cauliflower that's in the bag and I'm going to add the picture of all the ingredients at the end of this so you guys will see more what I'm talking about when I say the rice cauliflower. So you're going to add the rice cauliflower back in, add the frozen peas and the carrots and then you're going to mix up about a quarter a cup of soy sauce, you can use a little more if you like, with a teaspoon of sugar and I just whisk it around with like a fork and then you're going to add that in to the skillet with everything else and you're just going to stir it around. I'd say 10 minutes stir it around so everything's all good and mixed in together and you'll be able to see once the cauliflower is cooked down to kind of where it needs to be it'll change color it'll be a little more translucent than it is when you start so that's pretty much it you're just gonna stir it around a little bit put the lid on let it sit for about maybe 10 minutes and then it's good to go and it's ready to eat and um, something you can add if you want you can chop up like a little scallion or green onion and just put that on top for a little added flavor but other than that that is it so it's really fast really simple it probably takes me all of probably 20 minutes to cook it and that's like chopping the vegetables the meat everything so like I said really quick really simple really good really healthy um, and if you're someone who doesn't like cauliflower even still just give it a try because I am someone who never has been a fan of cauliflower but I really love this recipe and I'm not going to tell you that it tastes just like fried rice because it doesn't but it definitely tastes really close and it's a really good meal and you don't even realize that how healthy you're eating because it just tastes good and people are I feel like under the assumption that if they're going to eat healthy it's going to be bland and not taste good and it's not going to be something that they look forward to eating but that is not the case with this recipe and most recipes that I do actually all the recipes that I do um, and that reminds me, I want to start giving you guys alternate recipes. So what I mean by that is, say you really like pizza, you like chicken parm, um, anything that's really like high fat, high starch, whatever. Anything that is a really good meal to you that you can't resist, but you would like to eat it just maybe a little healthier. I really want to start giving you guys healthier versions of all those staple favorite recipes. So you guys can either message me them, you can comment them on this video, however you want to get that, get that out to me. Just say, hey, I'd like to see how you can make a healthier chicken parm, how you can make a healthier fettuccine alfredo, a healthier pizza, whatever it is that is your guys' go-to meals that you really just love to have. I can show you how to make it a little healthier. So we can either start doing that as options on my blogs or I can just make a whole separate Kind of entity for that and we'll uh, whatever you guys ask of me I'll kind of tweak the recipes and show you how you can make it a healthier version because I really 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 want to stress that if you just start eating healthier more often you're not really going to crave that McDonald's um, Wendy's whatever it is that you like to eat you're not going to crave it as much because you're going to realize that you don't feel as good as you do when you eat something like the fried cauliflower rice and you're just going to get used to how you feel better from eating better foods and yeah you're gonna splurge every once in a while I still do I get chick-fil-a pizza whatever it is every now and then but you're like I said you're just gonna feel the difference in how you feel and how the you won't get that bloated feeling when you're you know eating healthier meals so just let's really try to make it more of a habit and I promise you it's gonna be hard at first and you're still really really gonna want to eat whatever you want but I promise you that it's way, way more worth it in the end to just tweak things here and there. You can still have the foods you love. Just make it a little healthier. Use less butter. Use less salt. Um, just different substitutions that can be made that you probably aren't even aware of or wouldn't even think of. And I promise you it'll make all the difference. So, that being said, we're done with the recipe. Um, I just want to let you guys know that I'm going to be posting a poll on Instagram, and I think I can post a poll on Facebook, so I'm going to try to figure that out, and also on the website, on um, a-b-o-e.com. I'm going to post a poll asking you, because I had, when I did the poll last week, there was almost a tie between this video topic and the company you keep. The company you keep lost by one vote, so it seemed like a lot of people really wanted to hear a little more about that. 
So I'm going to do a poll and see if you guys would like me to do the next video on the company you keep or if you'd like me to post four n more new topics for you to choose from. If you guys are over the company you keep, you don't want to hear about it anymore, that's fine. You guys can tell me what you want to see. So that's really all I have for you guys. And I'm really, again, sorry that you guys couldn't actually watch me go through the steps and go through the motions of making the cauliflower rice. I promise on the next recipe I will pay way more attention to what I'm deleting and I will deliver that time. So just bear with me as I'm kind of getting used to this and learning and trying to alter things that need to be altered and get better at things that I need to get better at. So if you guys have any suggestions on literally anything, just let me know. Um, let me know what you like, what you don't like, what I need to work on. I think I was better on not saying um as much this time. I was trying to be more wary of that. So you guys can just keep me up to date. Tell me how I'm doing. If you have constructive criticism, I'm all for it. Um, I just said um. Sorry. But anyways, I hope you guys have a really good week. And again, I'm really sorry about the video. Uh, I hope this is enough for you guys and just let me know again like I said what you think and don't forget to vote on the poll because it's really important guys I really want to you guys to play a part in this and be getting the information that you want from me so thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next week